Ivar Lurman van online klasse en virtuele werelde. Een portaal naar nieuwe denken en tekstboekoplossings. Waar opvoeding die machtigste wapen is om levens te veranderen. Hier is alles anders, maar eerders. Waar elke docent en student met elke les, toets en thesis bakens afbreek en nieuwe werelde bouw. Welkom bij Manele Unie. Waar een nieuwe toekomst op jou wacht en waar alles ontmoedigd lijkt, totdat dit gedoen wordt. Wankeleki le kulendela in chako to se le sis pelo. Yes, we found our ex in Hanji Songo, Katataga, with a computer. Ubimba on the la encha yoku tina mucha, nangesi sombululo zengoaji, ezi siseke lo kuba fundi. Abo imfundi ngamye Isa so na si tobo sa ke si na mandla So ku chincha u mome bake Apo yonke into ya shukile Kanji kwa fana Apo umfoli ngamye Kwa mfundi ngamye Badiliza imi obo Besaka isi mbo ezi mcha Kwe si funda nga sinye Uvava ni nga lunye Kanji na kwe kikisi zikanye Kwa mkele kile ke e mandela yunyo Apo ikamba elishali silande layo Apo yonke ito ipona kalati aino kwenzeka Teyezeke Kwa mkele kile ke e mandela yunyo Welcome to your new normal Of online lectures, virtual worlds A portal to new thinking and textbook solutions where education is the most powerful weapon to change lives. Everything here is different, yet similar, where each lecturer and student break down barriers, build new worlds in every lesson, test, and thesis. Welcome to Mandela Uni, where a new future awaits, where everything seems impossible until it's done. wonderful performance and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for those who do not know me i am your lovely host una so they say a current fourth year student at the national mandela university doing public management but again we have our very important guests of our faculty Dihamba with our faculty deans prof maseko our deputy dean dr nick as well as our school directors prof vince bergen Prof Nkize, as well as Prof Krauss. And why not add a little bit of personal touch with our own student coming from our own faculty to give us his own experiences. Prof, how are you doing? Prof, we've got a few questions for you that I'm sure that our viewers, our, our viewers are dying to know. Prof, for someone who's currently sitting at home right now, who does not know what the Faculty of Humanities is about, please do explain what is the Faculty of Humanities. Thank you, Nangamso, and thank you all for joining us today um, in this faculty webinar. Uh, so let me talk briefly about what humanities are. Uh, so humanities are subjects that engage critically about people, events, and general practices in society. You may have studied some of this um, uh, subject at school, like um, history, um, languages like Isikosa, uh, English, Afrikaans, um, and foreign languages. We offer those um, here, like French, uh, German, and so forth. Um, so basically, we study in humanity social phenomena um, and, and, and um, uh, how uh, these things impact um, society or humans generally. Um, so we investigate the origin um, of this um, phenomena, 
their cause and how they impact uh, people or humanity generally. So the big phenomenon that is um, uh, present at the moment is um, COVID-19. So in humanities, we study that and how it impacts us as society, how it impacts us now and how it will impact us in the future. Of course, the critical issue we're dealing with now um, in the faculty is grappling with knowledge that comes from the continent. We really um, are interested in understanding and, and investigating knowledge that has not been acknowledged um, in university in humanities around issues that originate in the African continent. We focus a lot on knowledge that um, originate in other parts of the world. So that's um, in, in a nutshell what humanities are. Well, Prof. And what is your role as the faculty dean? Mm. It's, it's, it may sound like a simple question. It's, it's, it's a difficult question. But uh, I'm the academic leader um, of the faculty. It basically means my role is to, is to provide strategic leadership um, in the faculty and ensure that the goals which we have developed um, in the faculty are carried out. Um, I don't do that on my own. I've got uh, the deputy dean, um, Dr. Luck, and I've got all the, the directors are here with us who are going to be sharing um, with um, our guests um, what we're doing in the faculty in the different schools. Um, I work with management and of course they're part of the management and, and, and to make sure that the goals that we um, have, have developed are implemented successfully, um, especially in as far as they um, support students and staff especially students as they study in our faculty. So that's my that's my role um, as the dean in the faculty. Lastly, Prof, what advice would you give to someone who's indecisive of whether the Faculty of Humanities here at Nelson Mandela University is a good fit for them? If you hear, I think before I, I even explain why it is important uh, for you to come in, if you hear, I would like to see you um, in your first day um, of the academic year in 2022. You're here because you're interested, but let me tell you why you should be coming here. So firstly, um, our university has put humanities um, or revival of humanities as one of the strategic goals. So as the academic home of the humanities, we have taken that on. We see the importance of revitalized um, uh, humanities in what we teach, um, in how it is, so the content um, is important um, in, 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 in that. So we're also proud of learning and teaching that recognizes Africa, and as I said earlier on, um, is a credible place um, for knowledge production. And this is centers in, centered in the teaching of our various subjects, um, politics, history, and so forth. Um, and um, we also have centers in the faculty that focus on themes that are critical now, um, generally in society, around gender, uh, womanhood, um, around um, uh, ocean cultures and heritage, um, in public management and leadership. So we've got those centers and, and, and research um, areas in the faculty. Um, let me also um, just talk about uh, briefly about our programs or degrees. We have degrees um, that are general in nature, like BA, um, general, but we've also got um, degrees that focus on clusters of similar subjects. So we've got a degree like BA languages, BA in visual arts, BA in music, BA in public administration, BA in languages. And so all those degrees, people can, can students can take general uh, degrees, but they, but they can also take focus degrees. And the, the, the beauty about this is that you can do a degree and immediately um, after you complete your degree, you can go and work or you can go and create work for yourself. You can be self-employed or create work for others. So that is the uniqueness of our of our degrees in our offering. So lastly, um, uh, I think obviously I cannot not mention our namesake. We are studying in a, you'll be studying in a faculty in a university that is named after one of the most important statesmen um, in the world, Nelson Mandela. As a faculty, we live by the values that are captured in our university strategic um, um, values or strategic imperatives, 
and that is around Ubuntu, um, around integrity, around social justice um, and respect for humanities. So if those are not convincing enough, I'm sure our dean, our deputy dean, um, uh, Dr. Luck, and the rest of the directors will really convince you to come inside with us. Thank you very much for, for your wonderful insight. Really, we have across a lot from you today. But okay, guys, okay, like I said, I said I'm not alone tonight. I am with our three wonderful school directors who head these um, these programs that we have. We have Uprof Kraus, who is the director of language, media and communication. We've got Prof Mkize, my director, who is the director of the governmental and social sciences. And last but not least, we have Prof Bensbergen, who is the director of the School of Visual and Performing Arts. Directors, I have a few questions for you guys tonight. We'll start off with Prof Mkize. Prof, so what can you tell us about GSS and what career opportunities are there that, that are there for us? Yes, um, GSS stands for the School of Governmental and Social Sciences. And in our school, you'll find all the foundational subjects that are very well respected in the humanities. These are subjects like history, I'm a historian, political science and international relations. Uh, anthropology, sociology, and public management and leadership. So we have all these subjects in there that kind of give you the core set of skills for how to ask these questions that we ask about society and how to take a look at what it means when human beings try to understand themselves. Um, and I mean, the kinds of skills that we teach students are creativity, are thinking out of the box, asking the hard questions. We live in a society where we have to ask hard questions and we impart those skills onto our students. So the kind of work that they can do is basically in areas that require that kind of critical thinking. So that be that research, be that um, marketing research. What do South Africans love to buy? Why do they buy these things? Do culture get involved? Those are the sorts of things that we, we do. You can uh, you know, be a researcher in media and all kinds of things. I mean, I've worked in documentary series. So we give you a kind of a out of the box foundation so that you can really know how to be precise in asking the relevant questions about society. Thank you, Prof. Now, Prof Kraus, is it true that studying media might not get you into TV? <laughs> well, I think um, most students who study BA and CC think they're either going to make films or become TV stars, but there's a variety of jobs you can do with, with media and comms. Those are just, I think, two of them. Um, you can also become a journalist. Um, <clears throat> and um, so it, it, I think also the idea that in the 21st century, where are we now? Yeah, in the second century, <laughs> um, it's going to be like you, jobs that we have now will no longer exist. And, and I think if you have a good basis and you're critical and you, you can think out of the box, I think you can create new media right and we will always have media i mean we are all slaves to social media so um i think there will always be a job somewhere <laughs> lastly Paul, the u.s just declared the next 10 years as the, uh, the decade of international indigenous languages what opportunities are there for us to study linguistics and languages okay um we do it closer and um afrikaans i don't think they are now the minorities um, Part of the official languages, not just English, sorry. Um, but we also envisage to bring in other languages, um, and especially with our African footprint, to improve our African footprint, we are looking at Israeli and Arabic is also very important in Africa. And then a further development that we must also look at sign language because that is very important um, because the idea that we must communicate with people and not you know people always have this idea that the university is this ivory tower somewhere people sit there and they don't you know what's going on around but that, that is completely changed now um, and i think through communication we'll be able to even break down those barriers thank you very <laughs> much prof prof spins bergen what is the biggest misconception about studying visual and performing arts? I know our parents are dying to know the answer <laughs> to this question. 
Hey, thank you very much, and that's a very pressing one. I think uh, parents and guardians are kind of represent their worst nightmare because uh, there's, this kind of, there's this idea that people who study in the arts, arts musicians, bus, get, uh, bus stations, and uh, artists paint people's portraits in shopping malls. But I think if one looks at how uh, the digital age has moved, we live in a world of visual communications. And now our job is more important in terms of uh, securing those indigenous knowledges through visual sign systems. And that's where the arts becomes very, very important. And uh, what I will demonstrate is that there's so many career opportunities and areas of study within the School of Visual and Performing Arts, which consists of the School of Music and Performing Arts, where students can study into a DMUS program. Our DMUS program is currently under review and getting a brand new facelift and will be ready by 2023. The visual arts is divided up into the applied design fields, which house our fashion, our textiles department, photography and graphic design, and our fine arts department caters for painting, sculpture, printmaking, drawing, and ceramics. Uh, the wide variety on offer there just uh, demonstrates how many career opportunities there are. And, you know, people seem to stare into their idea of a painter just paints or a sculptor just sculpts or a musician just makes music. We are teaching our students to work on a, on, on a strong interdisciplinary platform where collaborations are important in, in, in order to reinvent themselves. And we, we, we call that the makeshiftness of visual communication. And that time is ours now. If, if you just look at the power of social media and the power that the image has currently, we are in good stead and uh, the students are in good hands to forge a very, very illustrious career within visual and performing arts. Lastly, Prof, we heard that the visual and performing arts here at Nelson Mandela University is known for the work that they put out. Please share some of your success stories coming from your school. Well, we've had, uh, just to show you about that uh, artfulness or that makeshiftness, we've had graphic designers who've become uh, television personalities and uh, comedians. We've had uh, the likes of La Duma, who hails from our fashion design school, who is now trending uh, across world platforms. Uh, we have produced numerous winners across uh, media streams, not only in the visual and performing arts, but in uh, right across the school as well, in, in visual art, in uh, national art competitions where we benchmark ourselves. Um, that gives us a good indication of where our, our, our skill sets and our levels are. I think the most interesting part of uh, joining the NMU family a uh, couple of years ago was that on, on my travels across the country, I always found such a unique visual voice in the Eastern Cape. And there's this lighthearted joke that um, they, people are so isolated here, they just can't wait to get out. I, I came from the big city to Port Elizabeth because I think there is such a unique voice in terms of, of image making, in terms of what we can take in terms of material and materialities around us to create this unique voice. Uh, in the, as the Dean says, in the namesake of Madiba. Thank you very much, Prof. In fact, thank you to all our school directors for giving us such an earful about our wonderful and diverse programs that exist within our faculty. Next up, we have our lovely, ever so fabulous Deputy Dean, <laughs> Dr. Lick. In case you guys did not know, Dr. Lick wears many hats within the institution, one of them being the chairperson for our faculty for the Learning and Teaching Committee. Welcome, Dr. Lick. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Lick, for someone who's coming into first day next year, what would you say is the biggest academic jump from high school to uh, university? Yes, that's a very important question. Um, often the big jump from high school to university is spoken about, but um, matriculants need not worry. We will take that leap with you. We will help you close that gap. Um, a big, the big jump can be seen in the kind of work that we do at university. So at university, we have these three focus areas, teaching, research, and engagement with others beyond the university. So if I go back to research, when we research, we are um, creating new ideas and adding to knowledge that already uh, that is there, um, adding new knowledge, we, we, we say. So at school, students are in, might be researching um, ideas that already exist. Um, so, for, so this is new when students get to university to, to do this kind of research, to write like new subjects require you to write, 
subjects like the BAMCC you may not have encountered, you have not encountered before. And so this is new and this is a big jump for you uh, reading and writing in your disciplines. Um, and so because you now become involved in this kind of uh, research, um, that, that, that is a big jump, but we help you through that. Thank you. Doc, uh, last question. In what ways does the faculty support our new students? The faculty has a number of systems and people in place to help support new students. These range from automated systems um, that you will be using as a new student to uh, supply us with data uh, that we need about you to help you. Uh, WhatsApp groups in your modules, uh, this will help support you. Um, email communication, we communicate weekly with you via email. We have a dedicated website uh, where we have orientation, um, information about orientation and your modules and lecturers. We also have a student success coach who will help you set goals. Faculty student psychologists who can help with counseling. Dedicated staff uh, will help you liaise with uh, institutional structures that you may not you know, uh, know about or know how to reach. Um, lastly, our fabulous humanities academics will be creating creative, transformative and meaningful learning experiences for you to help deepen your knowledge. Um, they will have weekly consultations with you online at the moment and so they will help you in your quest to become, you know, whoever it is you want to be and to help better our society, to, to deepen your knowledge and your critical thinking to to help deal with our global challenges. So I would say we are doing a lot to, to help support you. Thank you very much, Doc. Now we have our own faculty rep, Uafelele Ngalimeni, who's gonna tell us about his own experiences being at the Faculty of Humanities here at Nelson Mandela University. AP, welcome AP, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, Namsa. Uh, so thank you, thank you very much for having me today. Uh, I would first like to greet the viewers at home, campuses or at their res or maybe their respective offices. Uh, thank you so much, Namsa, for having me here. Um, I would like to respond to your question. Firstly, I would like to give you a background. AP, I didn't ask question yet. AP, <laughs> <laughs> silly my show. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. What is it like being here at Nelson Mandela University? Yes, I'd like to. I'd like to react to that. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, me being here, it's a, it's a blessing. I, I really, I really enjoy myself here because I remember uh, when I was still back in high school in 2017. I was taken uh, to come to attend an annual youth conference, which was hosted here in Nelson Mandela University. So I'm coming back to your question now. Mm -hmm. uh, during that time, eh, that's when I firstly had the connection with the university. I had no idea how does it look like maybe to be a university student or maybe the atmosphere and the infrastructure around. That's when I actually connected with the university. Mm -hmm. So now that here, uh, at this moment, I am here now. I truly take it as a blessing. Yeah. All right, AP, what courses or uh, subjects have you enjoyed so far? Oh, OK. Firstly, I would like to mention that I am doing BA General, ne? Mm -hmm. Bachelor's of Art. So yeah, I am truly enjoying. Uh, I truly enjoyed uh, first year modules and a few that I'm doing right now. Uh, group dynamics, ethics and practice, public, uh, public policy process and procedure and methods. Yes, those are the are the, are the modules that I can say I'm really enjoying because uh, if you can if you can if you can look properly now, these modules are helping us to develop skills that assist us to think critically and have a different perspective on how things are actually happening in the society. Meaning that with us learning these uh, subjects, it helps us to grow and uh, better think to see things differently in the world. Thank you, AP. So AP, um, we all understand that we're currently living under the global pandemic. How has it been the shift from contact classes to online learning? Oh, that one, uh, it was never an easy thing uh, for me, uh, especially when you come back from rural areas, you know, the, the complication that you get uh, from learning how to use the computers and everything. So for, uh, for me personally, it was never an easy thing. But I managed uh, to pull through as 
the university last year introduced the uh, two pathways of learning. So yeah, I'd really salute the university for doing that because it allowed us to actually blend in because I actually used uh, pathway two when after seeing how uh, the whole process of learning online was conducted. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you very much to AP. In fact, thank you very much to all our guests tonight for joining us. Uh, ladies and gents, this brings us to the end of our show. But all good things have to come to an end. But before we end our show, we'd like to give a special thanks to our featured artists from the Visual Arts Department and as well as the rest of the Nelson Mandela Visual Arts Department. So we have over here, thank you to Michael Vedebom, to Greta Osorio, Sarah Keo, Michelle Dubono, as well as Robin Williams. Hi, okay, ladies and gentlemen, we started off with a bang. Why not end with a bang? We have our lovely music department taking us home. Once again, Dingunanga Sotei say I was your host tonight and good night. Amatole to be taken. What in Umama? A Kalinko Mo Zisa Longaba Zisa Name Chocolos to Gusama Kula Sambe Mame Kalumbana Kalunina Kalisinja Kalinko Mo. Zabu yinkomo ya masibidi e chakula amatole kubiteka wati numa ma ye ya kalingo mo Oh, 